I'm now going to cover the topic of a, a signal finder. Um, a product we stock on the tvtrade.ie website is this uh, fringe electronics um, uh, TV and satellite finder. Now, it, it's um, as the name indicates, it, it's a combi um, uh, uh, finder. It'll work for both uh, UHF aerials and it'll also work for um, sky satellite dishes. Okay. And um, I'm just going to demonstrate quickly how it works here. Um, it, before I do that, I'll just show you on the back of it, there's a battery, a 9 volt battery that goes into the back of this meter. Um, you need this for the aerial part of, the, of, the, of its uh, signal finding, but not actually as, um, from the satellite uh, perspective, because it can actually power the meter directly off of the satellite receiver. And if you look on the front of the th um, here, we have one input here for UHF input. We have a feed here, if we're using it in satellite mode, one feed coming from the satellite receiver and the other coming from the satellite LNB. And here we have a series of L uh, LEDs. And basically the idea is the more LEDs lighting, it would indicate the stronger the signal, okay? So we'll start off here. You can see this television here. We have it connected to a UHF aerial, but the signal is extremely poor, okay? So um, we know, anyway, this tele television is correctly tuned, but we just know that the signal itself coming in, uh, the picture is terrible. So in most situations, obviously, you, the aerial will be on the roof and the picture won't be, television won't be right beside it. So normally when you're adjusting the aerial, you'll have no television to guide you, okay? So what, what I'll actually do in this situation is I'll just disconnect the aerial from the back of the television, and I bring it around here, and I put it into the input side of the signal, uh, the the finder here and I turn on this meter so when you see the switch is up here and it's on now so I can see there's one LED lighting here what I do now is I slowly rotate the aerial around it's one LED now it's into two LEDs and it comes around and around around as we go my head out of the way now we're into three LEDs four LEDs there and back here so we can see here and four LEDs is as powerful as it's got, because when we went past that point, it dropped back down to three LEDs. And now what we'll do is we disconnect this meter. I just knock this off in terms of stop that annoying buzz. And we'll come along here, and we connect it into the back of the television. And bingo, we have a perfect picture. So, you know, it's very, very good from that, because it takes a lot of the guesswork out. It's not perfect. Um, this satellite meter compared to the cheapest meters you can get are probably about 10 euros. And the most expensive, you know, if you go to the Lagunas, things like that, are probably up to 500 euros. Or the very top of the range, Horizon Month, you could pay over 2,000 euros. So for something like this that's, you know, 30, 40 euros, whatever like that, um, you know, it's, it's very good because, you know, it's a lot better than nothing and it's considerably better than uh, even the, the cheaper meters. Uh, so I'll just move on and demonstrate how it uses a satellite dish. So here uh, we have a, a small satellite cable that comes with the kit. Uh, it screws onto the LNB here. And the idea of this is that we will actually put the satellite meter in between the satellite receiver and the, uh, the satellite dish. So we don't need the meter turned on for this. We can leave it in the off position. And we can see here that this thing here is marked satellite LNB. So what we do here is we screw this in. And the next step will be, we will actually connect a feed coming directly from the meter, which is here. And it says satellite receiver. And when I do this, you can see immediately, at least four to five LEDs will light up on the meter. And that's because, regardless whether we're pointing in the right or the wrong direction, it'll point that way. Uh, because it's getting a certain amount of signal being pulled in because there's various satellites in the sky. Now it won't tell me that I'm aiming to the right satellite, in regardless whether I was aiming for Hotbird or Cirrus or Astra 2, it will give the same signal thing. But generally, if you have the general setup of this quite good, and if we go to that first. So what we would do now is, similar to in the previous case, we rotate this dish in this direction. We can see we're going to less LEDs, so that's probably going in the wrong direction. And we rotate it back this way, we're up higher, and also we can rotate the tilt of it. So it's a matter of trial and error where you find the strongest signal thing you can get, you bolt the dish in that, in that position, and then you, what you do is you disconnect the meter and feed the dish, uh, feed the cable directly into satellite dish, and then you check have you got a signal on the thing. So, once again, it's not perfect, it's not as good as a meter for 500 euros, but still, um, it's considerably better than um, uh, uh, having no meter at all. And in my experience, a lot better than the cheaper meters that are on the market. Uh, and that's it beginning to end uh, the fringe TV and satellite signal finder.